Alright, so it's 90% week. Um, starting today, today is Monday, so we're doing squats. 865, uh, two by one. I, I actually had to get mentally prepared for today. It's get, it's get, it's, it's, it's close. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. 865 is nothing to sneeze at, so. I threw on the uh, gym playlist. Started off with Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Sorry about that. So, um, started off with Somewhere Over the Rainbow by that massive Hawaiian guy um, with the ukulele. Um, and then I went into Some Way I'll Find My Way Home by Carolyn Tuesday. I listened to that twice and I blew out my voice. Because um, when you're getting mentally prepared, I like to wind myself up as tight as possible. I, I blew my voice out a little bit while, well, I wouldn't call it singing. I, I, I accurately call it loudly yelling along with the music. So yeah. And then I listened to Off With Their Heads by Mori Calliope, Calliope Mori. I don't know which one comes first. Um, I don't know the, the proper name, name structure from Japan. And then um, I finished off with some Demon Dice. Um, I listened to track two from Demon Dice. Um, so all completely different artists. So yeah, now I'm at the gym. The wife's rolling in. She has my gym bag. I only have my belt because I deadlifted. Um, so let's 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 get cracking, crack lacking. <sighs> Dead ass though. Yeah, buddy. intra-workout carbs are actually super important. So I brought in these townhouse pita chips because um, they're high in sodium as well. But um, the owner kind of hooked us up and we got Twix here. So I didn't eat any of my pita chips. I actually just ate like three Twix total. Um, I am partial to the right side Twix because I'm always right. So, so we got one, two, three, four, and the, these are the, the assigned squat monolift plates. And we got one, two, three, four, five, and these are the assigned bench press plates. But the mono plates usually go there, and the bench press plates usually go there, but like, I'm using all of them already and it's only 90%. We need more plates. I'm a big boy now. I want more plates. See, it even says BP, bench press. We need more plates. We need more plates. So squats went deliciously. They felt like not a, stupid easy. It was 865 two by one. I mean, looking back on the video, they were slower than I would like, but only the descent was slow. 
Um, it popped up. There was no struggle. Not like didn't didn't even feel like 90%. Felt more like 80%. Last week was harder than this week. Now that we're done lifting, uh, we are going to go home and we're going to eat some yogurt. We're going to have some steak and potato. Uh, the way that I see it is uh, when you wake up on a training day, you eat for that training. The day before training day, you're eating for your next training day. When you're done uh, training, when you go home, you're eating to recover from your training and then the cycle repeats itself. So um, training every other day, um, I'm going, um, so Monday I, I eat my breakfast, uh, eat a snack, eat lunch, and then I go train and then I eat to recover. So that'd be my steak and potato, um, some other snacks and whatnot. And then the next day I, I eat my whole day's worth of food um, in prep for uh, bench, which this week will be on Wednesday. Um, and then Wednesday morning I eat I eat to lift. Um, and then after lifting I I eat to recover and so on and so forth. So that's that's kind of how I see my nutrition. Um, I follow the vertical diet. I haven't exactly gotten along with uh nutritionists before um they usually try to stick me at 2,000 calories my um my doctor wanted me at like 1500 calories and i was like are you high like n no i'm i'm at least 6,000 to 8,000 calories a day and she was like okay sure um and I, I i get my blood work done every three to six months and i i went to the doctor at um after my last meet in september um and she was like oh, you're 375 pounds you need a nutritionist i was like i am one and she blew her mind and then i went back recently uh it was six months later and she was like how have you not lost any weight you haven't gained any weight you haven't lost any weight your blood pressure is perfect your blood work is perfect what is going on i'm like you know i um i eat more red meat i take in more salt i drink uh gallon to two gallons of water every day i've cut out any oils from that, my diet i eat i drink a gallon of oat um uh, uh, orange juice every week maybe a gallon and a half of orange juice every week i eat a gallon and a quarter of uh yo greek yogurt every week and she's just like what you're saying doesn't make any sense i am flabbergasted but don't stop what you're doing even though you're eating more red meat and more salt i don't understand i'm like i, I basically every nutritionist i've known uh with the exception of one has uh I, i've butted head with, heads with so i eventually got fed up so i learned how to do it myself i went to the uh stan efforting when when he went around the country um when he stopped by manchester i went to that seminar packed house and he was like like i took notes and whatnot and i got way more out of that seminar than i expected not only did i get the nutrition that um ever since i went to that seminar my lifts have skyrocketed because i've i've stopped being an ass with my nutrition um, um, I, the only problem that I'm falling into, um, is my accountability with myself. Uh, the rule of thumb is you never coach yourself. Uh, and right now I'm, I'm essentially coaching my own nutrition. So there are times where I'm not completely accountable with myself and I miss a meal because it's actually pretty hard to eat a lot. Like people make fun of powerlifters as bodybuilders who can't diet, but like at, at the top echelon of, of um, powerlifters, you're eating like a bodybuilder almost. Uh, you're hitting specific macros. You're not just eating chicken and rice all day. You're eating like six to 8,000 to 10,000 to 12, 2,500 calories of clean foods. Like you, you lose your, you stop caring about how food tastes because you're eating so much. Like it's, it, it's, it's kind of disgusting how much, um, you gotta eat, but the results are monstrous. And once, once I figured out my nutrition and, and stuck to a diet, um, everything fell together and, and all my lists skyrocketed. 